Hello guys, I'm Herman and today in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about my 3D printer. It's a printer that I built in the past in the video that I posted on my channel so you can check that out. Well this printer is made with uh, aluminium and steel and also we use um, trapezoidal screws for the linear mechanism. Um, we have taper motors for all the axes. For the Z and the X axis, I use the NEMA 17 stepper motors, and the Y axis, I use the uh, NEMA 23 stepper motor. The reason for, for, for that is because uh, I am using a very big heat bed, and the size of it makes it to be very heavy. So for that reason, I had to put a stepper motor that could enable me to print uh, at a higher speed without losing steps. Yes. Um, also, on this printer, you will see that I, I am using guide rails, and the guide rails that I use here are, 20, are 12 millimeters of diameter, and and the bearings that are rolling on it are 12 millimeters as well, and they work so well and perform and de de deliver a very good print. For the limit switches that I use on this printer, they they were all well. Let's let's talk about. We have these aluminium brackets which I used, um, which I changed from 3D printed parts. And we have limit switches. We have these um, limit switches that I changed from the old printer and put in this one. So it makes the printer to be more precise and kind of quiet. So let's go down now into the electronics. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So uh, you see that I'm using a big MOSFET driver uh, because I'm having a big heat bed for that reason I had to put something that would drive high current and I also have uh, stepper motor drivers that are driving the NEMA 23 and the two uh, Z axis motors we have the RAM board which I used for this so this is where we put our display we had the thing printed and attached to the ABS plastic um, box and that is where we put our, our, our memory card. This is the fan, the cooling fan for the electronics, so we don't have things burn out in the box. And you see that I added a cooling fan to my extruder. Uh, you see that my extruder cable got broken, so I had to look for a way to attach it to um, to the thing without any problems. So this is my printer from the back. So that's how I attach the bell. Works quite well. So let's let's jog the printer a little bit on the axis and see how it works. So you see the Z-axis moving up. We are taking it down. Now let's go down to the Y axis. We are having a very big motor on that axis, the NEMA 23. And for that reason, um, the reason be why we use the NEMA 23 here is because our heat bed is very big and it's heavy for that we needed something with more torque that could drive the thing back and forth without, without losing steps and give us a quality print so now let's do the auto homing and see how it goes
yeah, they have to guys home. So, Let's let's try it. it prints. We don't we're not going to print something, we just have to make the machine to move, you know. Just to yeah, we we'll see how the thing does the print whenever it's printing. Much for watching this video. If you like it, I know it's not my usual type of video, but if you like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time on the next one. Goodbye.